the Army sergeant charged with desertion. Bo Bergdahl, the U.S. soldier from Idaho, held hostage by the Taliban for five years. We saw him blinking in the sunlight. Set free in a dramatic exchange, the U.S. handing over five Taliban prisoners to gain his freedom. After the handoff, patted down by a member of U.S. Special Operations Forces before boarding that chopper and flying to freedom. But tonight, that freedom could be short-lived. Late today, the U.S. Army revealing the charges that could lead to life in prison. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off. The possibility of a life sentence shows just how serious the charges are. Desertion with the intent to avoid hazardous duty, endangering his fellow soldiers left to face the enemy without him. Endangering the safety of a command, unit, or place carries a maximum potential penalty of a confinement for life. For five years, Bergdahl was held under brutal conditions by the Taliban. My name is Bo Bergdahl. Captured when he was freed last year in that dramatic exchange for five Taliban leaders, hollow-eyed and blinking after being held in darkness, he wept with gratitude when told he was heading home. And back in the U.S., Bergdahl's parents invited to the White House. He wasn't forgotten by his community in Idaho or the military, which rallied to support the Bergdahls through thick and thin. But the celebrating was short-lived. Bergdahl did not want to see his parents, and his fellow soldiers began to go public with their disgust. He knew what he was doing when he deserted us. A hearing will now determine whether there will be a court-martial. Bergdahl's attorney today asking that the public withhold judgment until they know all the facts. He included a statement from Bergdahl with horrifying detail about his captivity. He was spread-eagled and chained to a bed, chained to a cage, beaten with the butt of a rifle, and threatened with execution. And Martha Raddatz is with us now live from Washington. We know he faces the possibility of life in prison, but if Bergdahl is found guilty, Martha, would the Army take into account that he was a prisoner of the Taliban all those years? You know, David, I can't imagine they wouldn't take that into consideration. And there's also, of course, the possibility that it won't go to trial, that they will make some sort of plea deal. All right, Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Martha, thank you.